All right, astrologer Georgia Nichols is here with her predictions for the month of uh, July coming up. Yes. Uh, it's the end of June, so let's hear what we have in store for us coming absolutely, up this next month. Absolutely, absolutely. It's a good to see you again. Nice to see you too. Um, and sometimes when I come in, I say, oh, we're going to do something else. But no, this time we're not. It is going to be about July. All right. <clears throat> okay, so for Aries. Aries are going to be uh, much more focused on home, home, family. Uh, they might want to um, cocoon more at home. Um, they, they are, a lot of childhood memories are coming up and so they're kind of like sucking their thumb a little bit at home, but not entirely because a couple of other planets are making them schmooze, they're out there, they're doing things that's good for writing and whatnot. Um, old flames are in the picture hmm. coming up this month. It may be in the next six weeks for Aries, which could in fact be causing, I see some tension with partners. So uh, could be something going on there, right. right? They have to be Good careful. Good to be aware of. Yes, yes. Be very careful using your cell phone. <laughs> We've heard too many stories, <laughs> oh right? Yes. Taurus, Taurus, hey, they better fasten their seatbelts because this is a very busy time for them. They're going to be running around more, doing, um, uh, taking short trips, traveling, uh, talking to everybody, this sort of thing, yada, yada, yada. And they're focused on money. In fact, for the whole next year, maybe 18 months, they they can improve their earnings. Now, the Taurus in your family hmm. is your husband. Husbands, yes, so that's right. good news in my house. <laughs> They're also buying goodies. Oh dear, not yeah. such good news. Maybe, yeah, <laughs> buying art and things like that. Now, for Taurus also, they should stock the fridge. I see relatives coming, camping on your doorstep, sleeping on your sofa, this sort of thing. And Taurus is working very hard right now, working very hard this coming month. Okay. Gemini, 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 they've got a fabulous year mm. because Venus is in their sign for so long, this very, very long run which will never happen again for 105 years. And then on top of that, Jupiter is in their sign. So they are really uh, laughing. In fact, the whole world is having a Gemini hit. Mm. So it's wonderful for them and this month they're focused on money. They're actually thinking about, they're thinking about their values and what matters, how should they earn money, is money where it's at, like what is it I need to make me happy, that kind of thing. Mm. There is going to be a bit of a, mm, I see for them, they better charge their cell phone, pay their phone bill, to stay on top of their car stuff because I see Mercury retrograde is going to cause them a few problems, Little perhaps. Financial yes. issues. But they're very busy uh, having fun. They're mm. going to have, get out there and seriously party. Good for sports. If there's Gemini professional sports people, it's very strong for them. Cancer. This is their birthday. So cancers are um, re-energizing, they're recharging their batteries for the rest of the year. It's totally appropriate for them to put themselves first. They're kind of very happy. Hi, look ma, no hands. They're in, they're in the, you know, I'm not gonna say they're in the limelight. As a matter of fact, another sign is in the limelight, but they're attracting good things to them. Uh, they, if they are looking for jobs, if cancers are looking for work, they should go back to where they worked before or applied before or, or had a contact before. There's a looping quality of going back as hmm. opposed to forward. Uh, they may be doing renovations. There looks like there's sort of some chaos and extra activity at home. Mm -hmm. Could be a little tension there. Uh, but it's a popular time for them too. Leos, Leos, their birthday is coming up in a year. I mean in a month, in a month. So that means their year is drawing to an end and this is the perfect time for them to sort of look and go, hmm, how well am I doing at the art of living? Right? And so they're going to uh, be thinking about these things. A and kind reflective? of reflective? Yes, very reflective. Uh, Mercury is going to be retrograde in their sign for quite a bit this summer. So uh, they will probably be dealing with ex partners. It's very popular for them, and they are unusually forceful in all of their. Look at me. Hmm. <laughs> I'm a Leo. Unusually forceful <laughs> right now because Mars is uh, moving into Libra finally and it's uh, making their uh, communications very aggressive. Good for people who write and sell and promote. Virgo. Virgo, hmm, I see they're popular, very, very popular, schmoozing with groups and clubs and organizations. Uh, they can really get their name out there. In fact, for the whole next year, they can really push their name. And they're working hard for their money and spending their money. It's a good time for research for Virgos, too. They should hang out with other people because people can help them now. They should get feedback from other people. It's a two-way street. Libra, Librans, now they are the people in the limelight hmm. because the sun is at high for them. So not only are they in the limelight and people are noticing them, but it's a flattering light. And so people will offer them things, offer them jobs or promotions or ask them to take on increased responsibilities. Wow. They should say yes, because they can just do it. It's just the good lighting, right? They want to travel. Uh, they've got a lot of energy. They may want to get out and jog more or do something like that because Mars is in their sign, so they're feeling aggressive. Hmm. Uh, Scorpio. Scorpio does want to get out of Dodge. Okay, Scorpio wants to, they want a change of scenery, they want something different. Um, they might also be, hmm, thinking about 
having profound discussions, uh, wearing black turtlenecks and hanging out in coffee bars. <laughs> you, know, you know, they're sort of, they're, they want big ideas. Right. Um, they're very turned on sexually right now. <laughs> when are they not? But they're very hot to trot right now. And in fact, I see secret love affairs as well. Oh my, oh my. Oh well, my. we'll move it all. Hmm. Okay. I'll never tell. Sagittarius. Sagittarius is very intense right now. They're concerned with inheritances, their partner's money. They're thinking a lot about stuff. And they're also probably going to encounter situations that challenge their values. So mm. this could happen with you a little, perhaps. Mm. Something will come up and then you realize, hey, maybe, maybe I have to rethink this, right? Um, if travel delays, if they're traveling, they should go someplace they've been before. I see them very active with groups. Groups, clubs, organizations are really participating in something. And their partnerships are blessed for the year, nice. right? Really looking good. Capricorn. Right now, the sun is opposite Capricorn, which means it's as far away from them as it ever gets all year. Mm -hmm. So, and the sun is your source of energy, so therefore they need sleep. They need to get more sleep, they need to get more rest, and they need to recognize that. Also, because Mars is high in their chart, so they're very ambitious, and uh, this is a good time for them to improve their job, without question. Um, Aquarius, well, I see they're dealing with ex-partners, for sure. And they're working hard, they're still partying. They've been partying, but they're still partying. But they're deciding now to get healthier, tone it down a bit, you know, pull it in, get efficient, and but they secretly want to get away and travel. But they're trying to, like, get Keep their ducks. Yeah, yeah, just trying, because they have really been on a roll. Pisces, the last sign here, they want to party. This is a great time for Pisces. Party, party. Uh, things are looking good at home. They're doing redecorating projects. Their sex drive is very amped, too. And uh, they could have little delays at work in the summer, but, oh, it's not a big deal. They should just sort of be patient. Oh, all right. We, we wow, did you yeah. did it. You did a fantastic <laughs> job there. Lots going on. It sounds like it's going to be a great month. It is. It's actually, I think, going to be a good summer. Good. People should get their cars fixed, though, and, and, and things like that. There's, okay. there's going to be delays. All right. Take care of that sort of thing responsibly. Right. Great. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Georgia. Of course, if you'd like to learn and read more about what's in store for you, you can pick up Georgia's book, You and Your Future. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank and you. And we'll see you in a month. Yes, absolutely. After what sounds like a lovely July. Right. Okay. Great.